you know, there's pigs just having a great time down there. Oh my god. It's a Saturday, October 22nd. 22, I'm going to Rousey's. Um, I'm going to check in the Civic. They're going to be like, ah, be right it, copy right it. I mean, they're just looking for excuse to whatever. Oh, you know, not getting sued, not getting this, not getting that. That's all they care about, so. Unfortunately, and I know that. I know that. This is me all so much in our life. So we are the product, but we don't get nothing out of it. Oh, this is their car. This is their telling jokes. This, the one of them saw me, had all their eyebrows plucked and everything. And he was like, he saw me with the phone, they're like, look, look at the phone immediately, you know? Because they were told that. I wonder how much is the sand over there. Let me check. The entry? It's this side. I think I came the wrong way. Oh, I guess it's entry and exit. This is just crazy how how they got um, really fancy supermarkets. Hmm. I usually put it like and they don't have no names. You really don't say, you know, like aisle. You know. I mean, what's on each aisle? Like, look at me. Look at me, look at me. Somebody was posting like, you know, oh, you know, that all the doctors say salt is bad for you. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, because it's not salt. You know, they make it in in a laboratory. They make it in a laboratory. This is it. Yeah, tuna. No. Yeah. Some of them they have good brands of salmon, like you know. Yeah. You know, like a ghetto supermarket with a inside. What is this? A sprat? I never heard that. I don't know what Sprat is. Okay, 
water sweaters. Oh my god, they don't make the tiny little bottles. You know, the, the Fiji. They used to make this really skinny, it was like this one, but it's like a really skinny one. So it fit in my bag. They don't make them no more. I didn't think about buying several bottles of that. Because that's just so convenient. I just put it in my handbag and so I'm hoping that Aldi's didn't raise the prices of um, of letters either. I'm hoping it's still $1.79 for a head of lettuce because everywhere is three dollars. It's not even fresh. Shit is not even fresh, you know. I'm gonna push. Oh no X. And all the supermarkets they they increase the price. All of them. It's so weird. You gotta go all the way this here. One of the phony ass protests again. Control opposition. That maggot wanted to start some. It's the street. It is the street, and they want to control the street too. so many protests and what? Yeah, right. You see, they're like, oh yeah, we got protests, you know, it's a democracy. It is so great. What are you talking about? It's like, what are you talking about? Yeah. There's like 15 guys right there, you know, embarrassing themselves. Look at that. You can see people like literally selling garbage everywhere, everywhere. You know, and that, do you know why they're doing that? Just to get their deliverables. Those are their deliverables. They get millions of dollars in grants. You know, just from, oh, we had a protest. And they don't even tell nobody about the damn protest. You know, and it's like, uh, it lasts just about 45 minutes. They take the pictures. Oh, you see, we protested. That shit is called deliverables. Look at this. It's uh, Emmett Till's movie. But they put a maggot on the cover, okay? So, I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, like, I didn't even see this, but I should have, I should have, I should have thought about it, you know? I should have thought about it, you know? It's like, they're blowing their ego. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's just like, you gotta laugh. You gotta laugh, you know? These bitches are broke, sick. I mean, in every way. This is disgusting, you know, how it's like a movie about Emmett Till and you're gonna put a bitch over there, you know, so she can get her Oscar again, again, you know, another prostitute, another bad wench. I mean, shouldn't you think like, oh, that's for a young African-American man, right? Nope. Nope. They make a movie about Malcolm X and it's not even about Malcolm X, it's about some bitch, you know, whatever, you know. And they don't see that as scary, they don't find that as like, why are they enabling us? Why are they like, you know, because literally, 
literally they can do no wrong. They cannot do no wrong. You know, whatever whatever is it that they, they do, whatever is it that they say is because, oh, because of patriarchal oppression, oh, it is because, you know, you know, racism, society this, society that, you know, like, it's never their fault, never. I mean, it, you know, to be fair, you know, this is the same thing across the board. Any, any woman is just like blameless. Any woman is just like a victim. You know, like Liz Truss, the Prime Minister of England, 45 days. It lasted 45 days. You know what I mean? Like, and it's not her fault. It's not her fault. It's uh, Charles' fault. It's, uh, you know, but it's never their fault. And that shit scared the shit out of me. You know, like, you know, how can I, I can go and be a ratchet. I can go and do whatever the fuck you want. And it's not going to be my fault. It is not going to be my fault. You know, nobody's going to judge me. It's going to be the opposite, you know, like, oh, you know, poor thing. She was stressed out. I went to the car by my house. I told her, like, you know, let me go early. I left my house at 7 30 in the morning. And um, I said, okay, let's, let's check it out this morning. You know, maybe I'm the house. I mean, it was beautiful. I was like, oh, that's a few. You know, but, you know, not like it is. Uh, you know. Because it's all about trends for them, I guess. You know, they do one park and then they do another one. You know, I discovered one yesterday when I went to the dentist uh, by the piers on the west side, on the Hudson. It's called uh, Little Island. It's called Little Island and... Uh, oops. And... Um, it's the most ridiculous thing. I mean, I think that shit cost us at least one billion dollars. It's made out of, um, it's like pots with a stick. It's like a, like a, you know, you know, like a pot where you do like the plants. It's like uh, made out of cement these balls on a stick so it go all the way like if it's a mountain they call it little island and like never never seen any advertisement nothing why because i mean this shit came on the heels of uh hudson yard or hudson yards i don't know i forgot how you say it again we pay billions of dollars so the millionaires they can have their private city in Manhattan. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Then, like, people, they still don't believe that, you know. No matter how much evidence we got, the media is our enemy. The media is a prostitute, you know. I mean, they showed up, uh, you know, the 
the most important newspaper, whatever, portal in England, like within three weeks or four weeks, I don't know. This trust is the best thing. This trust is the shit. <laughs> three weeks later, it's like, you know, oh, she was a scam. She was like, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Four weeks later, somebody's gonna pay her. Somebody's gonna pay them to say, you know, to write a nice article on Liz Truss. And once again, they're gonna put it like, yeah, Liz Truss was misunderstood. Liz, Liz Truss was a victim of patriarchal oppression. Like, I've been saying this for years been saying this for years, you know, we got to question why they're putting women in politics across the board. Over here, the last elections is like, it was like a landslide. All the city council, all the everything went to women. Why? Why everybody loves us all of a sudden? Oh, that's right, because we are easy to manipulate, right? They just tell, hey, sweetheart, I want you to vote yes. Look at this maggot right here. Oh, gosh. This is why, you know, our foreign relations minister don't do shit, I tell him, you know. Why are we still allowing to make all these television series Anyway, <clears throat> I'm out of here. I'm out of here, you know, like. And in Mexico, we need a, a wall. We need to build a wall, but like, you know, we need two walls, you know, like the wall of China times two. That's what we need, you know. because the fan is about to get hit. The fan is about to get hit. And we're gonna be getting all these ratchet ghetto bitches trying to come down to Mexico and like, oh hell no, we gotta kick them in the teeth. You know, remember you're with your slave master? Remember that? I don't know, probably there's a reason why God allowed me to to see both sides of the story. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if I'm ever going to be believed to, you know, because they never believe shit, you know, like, oh no. You know, like France did not believe anything, even when they saw, you know, they translated uh, Mein Kampf, whatever you pronounce it, you know, Hitler's little handbook where it said exactly all the shit they was gonna do to France. You know, they said it clear and they saw it's like, oh no, it's just like, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> oh gosh, it's a, it's a pothole, I almost killed myself. So, I don't know, maybe humanity is not supposed to be here in this planet, I don't know. Maybe we're all supposed to be slaves. I mean, how else? There's no more papers. Anyway, I haven't smoked like in three months. Because I don't need it, I mean like...
Japan. Well, maybe next week I'll go to Central Park for the first time since 1994. Never been to Central Park in the but since everybody's saying, you know, it's a world attraction to come to Central Park in the, in the, in the autumn, you know, in the fall. It's a spectacle. I mean, can you imagine if, if, you, if you live in one of those fancy condominiums surrounding the park? Can you imagine, I mean, like, the views you get? Especially if you're like in the fourth floor, tenth floor. You know, I mean, like, uh, I knew somebody, you know, who was staying in my house for a little while and tried to use a drone in Central Park and he was shut down immediately. But that would be like really nice. That would be like really nice to have a. Uh, a drone, you know, flying over Central Park within the next couple of weeks. Look at this one, they're still green. October 22nd. Yeah, fall is a little bit late this year. This is a good workout to live on this street on the way back. Even on the way down, I'm, I'm like, like, if I had got high heels right now, can you imagine having high heels down the hill? I mean, if you're fat, you can just roll down. <laughs> I guess, I suppose. Bags. Let's change bags. Let's change arms. Bags. Uh oh. Maybe they're building here too. You know what? Never, never happened in the last. projects because there's already so many so many buildings I went to. so I hope there's not like long ass lines of Aldi's. I mean, it's Saturday. I doubt it. But I'm gonna have to stay in line because I'm not paying three dollars for a head of letter. You see, I tried to try to flip it and I can't. And then all of a sudden, without. Um, no, I push something and flip the camera, which I hate it, you know. Don't touch my damn phone! And then 
and all those like Without my consent. As soon as I got home, automatically they switched to my Wi Fi. You promise unlimited data, you promise unlimited calls, texting, uh, hotspot. You gotta deliver. Nope. You see that kind of technology, that's what they got. As soon as I get to my apartment, the Obama phone died. I'm sure it's wireless. Are you listening? Get a phone. You're free. It's free. You're not supposed to have any strings attached. It's not supposed to be for those who are like, you know, you know. Once again, they're flipping my damn phone. Lord, please. Yeah, some people they actually got time to do this shit. Yeah. I wanted to show you the, the bus stop. It, it looked like a hundred people waiting for the bus. And like, damn, and there's Saturday. They got some time for that bus. Well, the graffiti, as you can see, is going on the up and up. As much as they say that they're all oh, they're fighting, you see, they got the red light and the guy's moving the damn car. That's what's called New York City. You see the red light and he gets back. And they're like, I thought he was gonna move. I can't believe people they go to that store. So garbage. Garbage, you know. When they first opened, I bought a, a couple of things and they all broke within a year. I'm like, nope. I mean, I got them. It's two lamps. I got floor lamps. I got to turn them on myself by, by, by spinning the light bulb. I don't know why they love these stores. Everywhere. And they are opening everywhere. Everywhere. Downtown, midtown. Even in the Upper East Side. And now I know why they didn't want Walmart. At least Walmart is cheaper. It's garbage, garbage, garbage. One time I bought some ground beef. That shit was like rubber. Rubber.